What's up, my people? Good morning. This is how I look in the morning. So don't judge you, girl. I'm hopping up on here because I um I had a really interesting day yesterday, and it really kind of just made me think about sharing some stuff with you guys because I feel like um <clears throat> you know there's a lot of times when we go through certain things, we invest in certain things, and um, it doesn't yield the payout, so to speak, that we expected. Um, sometimes it might be an actual payout, like a job or a project or a new idea where you're gonna do something like with your house. But, you know, sometimes even in relationships, it can be a payout because when you invest in your time and energy into someone, that, that right there is more precious than anything. Like, I could easily give you like a hundred bucks and be like, here, going about your way. But if I take the time to sit down and talk to you about what you got going on and like, <laughs> there's not a dollar amount on the time that you spend with someone. It's really not. And I think that it's really important for all of us to recognize that our time is our money. So, whether you're working a job and you're getting an hourly pay, whether you have a salary job and you have to be there for a certain amount of hours, whether it is, you know, what you're pouring into someone or into a project, it is essentially costing you something to do that. So what do we wanna do then? Like. Do we not want to work on stuff? Do we not want to give people our time? No, it's not that at all. It's where are we investing our time, right? And it, sometimes we can, okay, for instance, some, sometimes you can do something stupid and you know it's going to be stupid or you know that it's not a good investment, but you just do it because it's hella fun. And that's your prerogative. However, you want to make sure that you keep things in balance. You can't just be all fun, fun, fun. There has to be other stuff that you're doing with yourself to keep you balanced as a person. <clears throat> you can't just focus on one thing. You have to focus here, here, here. We have to divvy up our time. So anytime we're taking time away from our kids, it's costing them something. It's costing our children something. So in the past, I used to just do what was fun because, I mean, that's what we're here for, to come to this planet, right? To be embodied into a physical body, to enjoy it. <clears throat> and I think that if you don't, that would be foolish. It would be a waste of the opportunity. Absolutely, enjoy your life. And, you know, I think what people need to understand is that if you're not enjoying your life, or you're not enjoying your job, your situation, there's choices, there's freedoms. I mean, the only reason you're unhappy is because you haven't done something about it. Am I right? You're sitting there like miserable, but you still get up and punch that clock and go back home to that relationship that you're not happy in. And then you just sit here wondering like, where did all this time go and why am I not happy? Well, maybe it's because you're making poor investments. Duh. You're not going to be unhappy when you're making profitable or investments that allow growth, right? So, <clears throat> think about what you're investing in. What are you spending your time on? Hmm? Is it something that you uh, feel it is worth it? Is it something that at the end of the ride, <clears throat> if things don't go your way, are you gonna be mad? Like if I go to the casino and I take X number of dollars and I go go play all these, um, you know, slots or games or play, you know, hop on the freaking blackjack table. Okay, there goes your money, right? <clears throat> but I went there for the free drinks really and to go like get the hell away from the house and go do grown up stuff. Do I give a crap? If the $200 is gone, yeah, I mean, I do. I really wanted to come home with some big bank. But if I don't, 
I'm all right with that too because I went there to have fun. I knew what my purpose was. So, you know, you can go into something knowing like, hey, if it doesn't work out, I'm good with that. <clears throat> and just make sure that you're okay with losing what you invested in doing that particular project or adventure or whatever. So, anywho, guys, I'm thinking, you know, it's definitely time for us to think about what we're investing in. Am I right? Okay, yeah. So, anyway, I digress. Let me go ahead and get to these cards. I just thought I would, you know, share that little nugget with y'all because <clears throat> I've made a lot of poor investments and I realize that now. But, um, you know, sometimes when you go into an investment, <clears throat> you might have a partnership. You might have a partner that you're going to invest with. And sometimes your partner doesn't do the same amount of investing and it feels like an unequal thing. And your partner may be like, well, I do all the drawing. And then you're like, well, I do all the writing. And, you know, it becomes a tit for tat. Like who, who did more in the investment? Like which one was the more of the value, right? And both, first, both people had brought value, major value. Like you can't write a book without the writer. You, you know, you also need an illustrator for your book, they're both equally important, especially when you're, you know, to get a full picture of what was going on in that book. You need the pictures and you need the, um, the words. So, you know, if we're talking about a relationship, okay, well, maybe, you know, you do the cooking and your husband does the cleaning or, you know, you work and someone stays home or, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios, but in all of them, Everybody needs to understand that the other person is important. And it's really difficult when <clears throat> you're in a partnership. Hey, wow, you know that paragraph, that chapter one that you wrote, man, that was just, it caught me. You know, you're like appreciating them. <clears throat> and there's a lot of different ways to show appreciation for that. Um, and, you know, I was gonna give some other examples, but you get the point of what I'm saying here is that, um, you know, everybody has their contribution, even in your household, your children, your dog, everybody has their contribution to what they do in the house. And it might not seem like someone doesn't have value to you because you feel like your job is harder or more important. But really, you know, we all work together. We all work together to make like this whole picture. It's like, people need to realize that they're not the only person who's important in this life. And it's like other people are important to you. And when people are important to you, you should let them know that they're important to you. You should make sure that they know that they're important to you. And so anywho, I um, kind of feel like I was disappointed in some partnerships lately, kind of feeling like not really sure how, um, you know, the whole situation just kind of blew up. So <clears throat> anywho, I'm just thinking for the future, I need to be careful with all of my investments and I'm gonna really like just pull my energy back and really peep people out before I make any move in any direction. And I feel like if anything, the last 10 to 20 years of my life have shown me a lot about people and how people move and how people say things that they don't mean and that, um, you know, you think you have a bond with people and and you recognize that they only manipulated the situation to make you feel like there was a bond um, in order to, I wanna say like, <clears throat> that sounded kind of malicious, so I wasn't trying to make it sound malicious, but people can get you off track Say for instance, you have an illustrator, you're telling your illustrator, oh, you're gonna take care of that part, okay, cool. And you know, they end up doing some kind of half-assed job or whatever, and you're just looking at the shit like, oh, um, yeah, I put my heart and soul into all the writing, so I would appreciate it if you would draw more than stick figures on the uh, illustrations. I need you to, I, I see that you, you tried something here, but that ain't gonna get it. I mean, we're trying to make some quality shit here. We're trying to make a bestseller here. We're trying to like move people with what we're doing, with how we wrote this, what, by what we're putting out here to the universe, what we're representing as us. This and this, 
this isn't working. So it's like, <clears throat> if you wanna write a bestseller, if you wanna change the narrative in the direction of the story, maybe, maybe you have a series of books and all the books are the same freaking, like, same fucking story, excuse my language, same story, repeatedly. And you're like, um, yeah, the story's really good. And even though you switched up a few of the scenarios, it's kind of like the same bottom line here throughout all of them. Like, it's time to revamp the story that you've been writing. It's time to really like dig in and like, put something down that's black and white.